Hi, my name is Georgina Rudo, and this is Take a Second for the Future. Whose future are we talking about? This little guy right here, the koala. The koala and other Australian native species surprisingly rely a lot on how we as humans define time and what time is. So why is a second so important to this animal? Well, we utilize GPS systems or global positioning systems in order to understand the behavior of these animals. GPS systems utilize atomic clocks, which define the second. And these are pieces of technology that I'd like to highlight to you today to understand why are they connected to something such as saving koalas' lives. So, a GPS satellite clock utilizes up to 20 distributed atomic clocks at any given time. And before I get into more detail on this, let's test our internal clocks. If everybody can close their eyes, count to five, and when they reach five, open their eyes to compare with everybody else in the Zoom call to see how accurate you can be. Ready? Go. So, how'd you went? Did you match with anybody else in the live stream? You can see why us as humans don't really have very, very good of a precise clock, and unfortunately the same thing can be said to computers. So in 2020, Australia suffered a lot of bushfires, which unfortunately resulted in a lot of animal deaths. However, we utilized technology such as GPS in order to help us track native animals, analyze affected regions, and also do countrywide mapping. One example is that in October 2020 in Hillsu Sanctuary, they did a study which resulted in tagging a bunch of koalas who had suffered both physical and mental trauma from the bushfires and released them back into East Gippsland for 11 months to understand the difference in their behavior which helped inform a long and current term sustainability for koala populations and how the sanctuary itself can cater to these animals when they rescue them in the future. If you're wondering, it's only a second, doesn't make such a huge difference to these sort of research tasks. Well, one nanosecond can result into 30 centimeters of error, meaning that just one second can result into 300,000 kilometers of error, which is a huge margin if you are taking a look at a species that doesn't really move too much, such as a koala. This is where the atomic clock comes in. It is comprised of atoms as implied by the name, which have negatively charged electrons orbiting a positively charged nucleus. We fire an electromagnetic field, otherwise known as a laser, at just the right frequency in order for those electrons to vibrate. In 1967, cesium-133 was a chosen atom to define a second. It was recorded to have 9,192,631,770 vibrations per second. If you're wondering, this was developed in, 19, in the 1960s. Why do we care so much? Well, I'd like to put your attention to understanding the back end. You see, the Earth is slowing down its rotation, and it moves differently in relation to our sun each year. Meaning in order to, for, us, for our GPSs to stay consistent, we need to update the second, or in some cases, at a leap second. Us as humans will never experience this phenomenon, However, computers definitely notice a difference, especially when we're talking about tracking and locating technologies. In fact, this is so important that there's been quite a lot of development even happening now, such as in 2021, the cold atomic clock is a type of technology that's being investigated to use laser cooling to reduce the margin of error of recording the second. It has been so successful that even now it's, it's suggested that we should redefine the second as we know it. Additionally, in 2020, a water group created a hackathon in Australia to try to see if we can talk about prevention methods of bushfire damage rather than just recovery methods, in which a lot of the team suggested we use GPS technology for evacuations for animals and humans to track as the bushfires are burning rather than just as it's used now, which is only recovery and data research. So now you know why something so abstract such as time can connect so well to helping such a popular and iconic Australian species to survive. Thank you for your time.